So yes, chef, ready again. Merci. Yeah, <laughs> you're there. All right. Extreme chef day again with Prince Nick. You know, what we are going to do right now is some simple steam fish. Simple steam fish. And now what I have here is uh, the ingredients and uh, protein. Now this is my fish. We're going to do just four fish today. Right, this is parrot and we have goat fish and we have some goto. So now we have some tomatoes, you know, to cherry plummy tomato, we have uh, thyme, we have garlic, scallion, sweet pepper, we have some okra my lad, you know, and we have carrots, <laughs> pumpkin, onion, teaspoon um, tablespoon of butter and some scotch bonnet pepper. All right. Now, the first step I'm going to do is to put the saute pan on the fire to build up to uh, a, 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 a temperature so that um, the, 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 the fish does not stick in the pot. Mm, put it on this one. When, I, when I'm doing um, when I'm doing my steaming, all right. Cool. So, first step here. Now I have my fish. One, two, three, four. Beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, so put right, the pork on the side. Them look. Yes, yes. I, I, I like, I like to core the fish just slightly, not for the meat to break apart, but for the um, seasoning to rush through the whole body of the fish instant, right? Because remember, it didn't, it wasn't marinated, so it could soak properly. So put a little core so the salt and all the seasoning just rush through the meat of the um, the fish, right? So what we're gonna do now? I have right here some uh, my all-purpose seasoning, homemade all-purpose seasoning. Borrow some from Maggie. I had some little ingredients. You know what I mean? Yeah. So people, first step. What I like to do is to rest my hand in. The seasoning like that and make a little bump to the fish. Sap, just a little sap to the body of the fish. So the season goes straight in. Right? Got the bump to the fish. Yeah, bump to the fish just like that. So you get your seasoning on the way to the extreme. <laughs> you know? Yes. Inside out. Now that's one people. It's one. Just like that. That's Next. a goldfish. Uh, yeah, this is a goldfish. Why is it called the goldfish? Is that it has these whiskers right here. Oh. So it's almost like a catfish, but this is a goldfish. Mm. Right? The, the catfish will be at the side out here. Oh. You know, the catfish will be at the side. Uh, let me show you the simple demonstration like that. Uh, come over here now, whiskers, man. You see, so the catfish now will be at the side like that because the whiskers are at the side. But you know, the goat have them beard, so the beard is under the chin. So they call this one the goatfish. All right, so inside out, people. Why inside out? We're taking the seasoning to the extreme. Season to the boat, my lad. Yeah. All right. Nice. So a little bump inside out. So people, what I'm doing now is to get my fish seasoned and marinated while the saucepan is being heated up. All right, people. Here we go now. Inside out. Just to take it to the extreme just to take it to the extreme. See? No, now we have nothing that dash way. Maggie Villa look away there. Maggie Villa look away. All right. So, there you go. My friend, all the way to the extreme. So, I get my hands clean here. And um, as season, I can smell my saute pan getting really hot. So what I'm gonna do now is to pour some oil so I can get this oil to the right temperature. Right, what I'm doing here 
use in here now is some vegetable oil. Not much, just like that. All right. Yes, people. Ready? Four of them. All right. Just like that. And I have here to paper coconut milk. This will be the sauce of my steam fish. Coconut steam fish we're doing today. Nice. With okra feedback, you know. All right. So now, people, my saucepan is being heated up to the dimension that I want it. So I'll be going for all my seasonings. So steaming the fish, my friend, as you see, I have each and everything separated from each other because what I do, I want to get the aromas and the flavor separated before combined, all right? So that's the garlic. First, I'm gonna add the garlic and the scotch bonnet. You smell that? Mm, yeah, garlic and scotch bonnet just to get that um, uh, oil taste and oil flavor. All I want is just vegetables and herbs. After I'm gonna add my onion. Step by step, people. Not Long after I'm gonna add my pumpkin. Why pumpkin? Pumpkin has a harder nature of body, so I would give it more time to be sauteed. Tomato. Why? Because I wanted tomatoes to saute in the oil to break down and become a sauce, like you're making a tomato stock, all right? Flavors. Time. Another kick of aroma, also great flavor, carrots, I'm gonna add my sweet peppers, and okra, now combining sterling. Now I have all my herbs and spices, I have my small piece of butter right here. That's it, beautiful. All right, show now my friend, here I go, right there. So, this, so there I go. So I have all my ingredients simmering. Just like that, sauteing, giving um, good aroma, nice fragrance and flavor, all of that. So I'm gonna leave that now for maybe 15 seconds, you know? Then what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reach for my fish. And I'm gonna gently lay. Now, there's a side to put the fish in the pot if you don't want them to break while you're taking back out. So you set one like this. You set one like this. So in each fish you put to the pot, you have the space, so you can easily well take back from the pot. No matter how close you put them, you have the space. There you go. One head, one tail, one head, one tail. Well, that's how you do it. Yeah. Right now, people. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to flip, what I'm going to do now people, I'm going to add some coconut cream. I'm add some coconut cream. So we have a cup of coconut cream. And we have additional. Alright, so that's it my friends. Subscribe Simple Steam Fish. So that's it. So all we're gonna do now is to cover and leave to steam 
for seven and a half to eight minutes, good to eat. Beautiful. Look at that people. So much love. Alright, now what we're gonna do now is just to cover for there you go. So we cover, heat is under there. We don't reduce, but we leave for seven and a half to eight minutes. Good to eat because why seven and a half to eight minutes? It's seafood. Fish can make even ceviche. Ceviche is a type of fish you can eat raw, but it was just cooked with citrus. Maybe um, you can use maybe orange juice, lime juice. You can use some form of whiskey, you know, just to uh, porch your, um, the, the, the body of your fish. So uh, you don't want your fish to be overcooked by um, cooking it 20 minutes or 25 minutes. So we go seven and a half to eight minutes today, and then we see how the taste and how the texture of the fish. All right? Cool. Bless up. All right, now, so. What we're gonna do also today now, we want to do some, um, hmm, let me see now. I, I, I want to do something from the box, you know. I want to go to the extreme, you know. I want to go to the extreme, which I am going to go to the extreme, you know. But what we wanted to do was to prepare some crackers with this steamed fish and crackers. Nice, nice, Jamaica, Jamaica, nice people, you know, and they are, you know. You know, and they are, like, wah, wah, Jamaica. <laughs> Yeah, you know? So while the fish getting steamed there now, where's the Prince Nick? What we should I do yet? Can do some crackers, man. Do some crackers, not sure. Do some crackers. Man. We have to crack up some crackers. You know? <laughs> Watch this. Alright, so go back for the Dutchy paper. Go back for the Dutchy paper. Dutchy. Alright. Dutchy. Right, that's it. Just done a hint. And all right now, people, what we're going to do now is to um this is this is called a mystery basket. What I'm doing, we're doing something from a mystery basket. We the one, we hungry. What we have a heat? We have one heap of food, but we don't know. Make we make something up, so just make a nice. Alright. Watch me now. Let your piece of time. Let your piece of time. All right, lock up this one. Come back to me, boy. Look up this at that. Peanut prints, Nick. Are you Yeah. Peanut paper. Peanut. I'm buying an extreme chef and prints, Nick. There you are now. Yeah. All right. Get it, it's bad to open while sometimes we lock it too tight, you know? You know when you lock tight, you don't open it and lock it back. <laughs> Alright, get some peanut right there, so. I like bus bag, you know? I'm bus bag, baby, man, so you open the bag, you know? Get <laughs> 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 yeah. some peanut crackers to them, friend. Peanut crackers? Mm hmm parch peanut crackers with some coconut steam fish. Yeah. <laughs> what a way. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What you say? Your parch peanut crackers with some steam fish, man. Yeah, man. So, this is unsalted peanut straight from the shell. Good enough? Yes. Conservation. Yes. Guys of um, what them call it. Alright. No. Come over here. We're gonna I like to rinse my peanuts a little bit, you know? It's um why I rinse my peanuts viewers is 
the nut of the peanut is sometimes it has the, 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 this red outer layer, right? Sometimes it strips just like this. That's what I'm talking about. So you wet just to see if there is any um, additional loose um, peanut um, trash. You don't want to remove that. You don't want that to be disturbing your meal. You know? All right, what we're gonna do now? Fish, we're gonna fish smell good. We're gonna take a peep on the fish. Let's go. All right, guess what? Catch this, catch this, catch this, catch this. Woo! And there you go, Django people. Now your steam fish is coming down, good. and we are going, all right? Beautiful. We are going. We are going. Now what I'm doing, Django people, is to just give my fish a little shook, just to have it released. Now that's what I was talking about. See them moving? That's when I was talking about get the pot to the right temperature so it doesn't stick and be ready on the right time, right? Oh there you go. Wow. All right, getting back over to my peanuts. I'm just gonna give them a little crack, 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 crack. You know, crack, crack, <laughs> crack, 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 crack. No, all is cracked. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do here now, viewers, is to um put my peanuts to my dutchy. Turn the fire off. No, Jazzy. Get over here. Get by the fire on. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to, I didn't use any oil, any water because I wanted to be dry. Yeah, patch it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear that? Yeah, patch it. All right. Get the spoon. Why the to come to the Temperature. Now we're going to do some peanut crackers, people. Peanut crackers and coconut steamed fish, people. Wait a time again. <laughs> oh, we have a couple of minutes left, anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So there is it people, there you go. The, the, the peanut is dry, no wet, no moist. And as you can see, as I was telling you about wet and squeeze and, and um, squeeze in the shells. So um, see, I have none um, loose um, trash from the peanut, the nut itself. You know, so I'm taking it down to parchment now. And again people, what you have to do, we have to be reminded to keep checking our fish. Believe it or not, don't try that at home. Scare kids. You must always use an towel. <laughs> Take off the pot of the fire. All right? Good. So this is it, people. This is almost ready. Just need about a minute and less than a half. And it's ready. Yeah, a minute and 15 seconds. Oh, wow. It's ready. Ready, ready, Beautiful ready. Shot. Yes, and we always go to the extreme. So we ain't gonna cook it to the extreme today, but we're gonna let it taste in extreme, all right? Beautiful. Brilliant. Wow. You are the man. All right, so uh, as I have my peanuts parching over here, get them back to it. Go ahead and smell it now. Yeah, man. Have a piece of thyme. Smell the aroma of the peanut. Sweet parching of the peanut. Just add some thyme to that. All right. So now, what I'm going to show you all the viewers is, all right, the fish was supposed to go seven and a half to eight minutes. See that, people? Fish must not to be too soft, see that? So when you take this meat off the 
the center bone you still have your center bone standing right there okay. so it, 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 it's properly cooked what I'm going to do now viewers is just to take some of my sauce right here to paint the top that wasn't turned down you know paint it paint it paint I right, you're doing some barbecue see viewers wow it's beautiful it's beautiful see seven and a half to eight minutes people the fire is off see it the chef and prince nick yeah chef and prince nick wasn't lying seven and a half to eight minutes <laughs> see that fire done up. all right now getting back over this dry but we call it water crackers you know so this is very nice with the fish this is very nice with um milo tea and milo you want to drink fever grass? <laughs> Some in tonight, see me with milk and see what <laughs> You never want to get it done. Alright, crackers. You know, peanut. Peanut crackers. Then the paper. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, boy, I tell you, chef thing is that. Is that, is that Extreme. Nice. Extreme. So, just leave it there, man. You don't worry about that. Extreme. Jesus, 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 man. See? Who smell You all need to try this at home. You need to try. You need to try. Peanut with Parched peanut crackers. Serve is gonna to serve today with um coconut steamed fish. Alright, so after the parched peanut crackers, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this. Step it up a bit like that. Get it over here. And I'm gonna do something like this. Just a little. No more than that, gentle people. No more than that. Look at your fish right now. Right there. Alright, get it covered back in simmer. Watch this now. So what I'm going to do is to take um, just a little bit of water, my friend, a little, just to get the vapor from the hot pot. But once water touches anything hot, then you get a vapor. So what I want now is a vapor to um, steam the crackers. So I just add a little water to that, you know, just to get the crackers down to the level that I want it. No one more though people I'm gonna taste. Oh Jesus. People, all you want a little laddy secret ingredients. A soon come back. <laughs> soon come back. You are joking I tell you no people. Now as I said I always put this last because I like to add all my ingredients and then put the balance. It smells really good though. Thank you bro. So uh, I hope it tastes better though. You know? So this is my um, secret ingredients right here. Like Just to get back my um, taste. There you go. All right. Then you're gonna whisk. See, people? Crackers, peanuts, steam fish, okra, baby bun, my love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so, as we said, we always go to the extreme viewers.
the, um, the extreme is not always overboard. The extreme is just being creative, you know, and um, being explainable creative, all right? So don't think that you have, at any point, you have to stop, you know? Just remember, if you're driving on the road, people, and you see a stop sign, it doesn't mean you're gonna stop and don't move. Need, it means you need to stop and look. So it's the same thing in cooking. You feel like you're spoiling some, stop, think, fix it. All right. So right here we have our peanut crackers. Check that out. Beautiful. Not too dry, stove is off. You want to you dish up um, some? Dish up one? Yeah, for yourself. For myself, yeah. Of course, man. Let me dish up one. So you can have something with one. All right. No. Ready to serve. Seven and a half minutes. Ready to serve. All right. Straight from the pot, people. Viewers. And you all might wondering, why am I setting it like this it's all about going the extreme you know all right all right um this is not breakfast time people it's um dinner time so maybe you're wondering why am i using a lifter but it's just to make this very easy All right. Wow. Beautiful. Just like that. Be right back. Wow. Then, I'm just gonna have some gravy on the fish and sprinkle over the crackers. Mm -hmm. Steam fishing crackers, viewers. Oh, wow. In so much fast space of time. And as you can see, as I was explaining about the setting of the fish in the pot, I just remove one from the middle and it still didn't break. All right. Yeah. So there is your um, steam fish and crackers viewers right there. And um, going a little bit more extreme. Yeah. Right. I would love to advance something to that. Uh, I'm gonna look. All right. What I'm gonna use today, viewers, is in my olden area here. I have some cucumbers, right? So I'm gonna utilize cucumbers. Here. All right. Garnish-wise, and it's very simple. All right. So viewers, this is it have my cucumber all right so what I'm gonna do see I'm gonna go one two three four take it like that you know all right well, I see right there now I'm gonna go again one two three Four. Have it like that, viewers, as you can see. I've got a bit. Just like that, viewers. See, just like that. Simple, authentic. Now I'm going to bring it over to the plate. There you go, viewers. Wow. Simple. Wow. Simple. 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 Beautiful. Simple, simple, simple. All that love. A lot of love. A lot of love. All right, this is a fish. This is your crackers. Um, 
We just know. Just, just, just to put the top in. Just to put the top in, viewers. Wow. Just to put the top into, um, just to put the icing into the cake is to um, show your nuts. Wow. Wow. There you go. <laughs> so that is your um, So viewers, that's your um, coconut steam fish and parched peanut water crackers. Easy to prepare, ready to eat. Mwah. Beautiful. Jamaica life nice. Jamaica life nice. Pretty stink. But they are. Do the right thing. Best of yourself. Extreme chef. No respect. Wally per time. Every time. No thanks. Yeah, know. man. We enjoy. You understand everything. You understand. And we learn so much from yourself. You Always a pleasure, man. No respect. Always a pleasure. No Jamaica life nice. You understand. <laughs> Jamaica life nice. <laughs> yeah. You I know. understand people. So, you know, just bless up a chef. I don't know the man himself. You know. Yeah man, Jamaica life nice, you know? Yeah, extreme, you know? It was a pleasure, bro. Yeah man. Always a pleasure. Every time. Cooking. You know, always enjoy. love. We enjoy, yeah. we enjoy and it, it looks so beautiful. Thank you. Trust me, it's beautiful. And um, you know, we learn something more where it concerns to survival. You know, you take a thing and make fashion with it. Yeah, understand? Mm -hmm. And as you said before, if something spoiled, think about it. Fix it. And fix it. Yeah. People, bless up on yourself. Big up to the subscribers, then big up to all our supporters. Same way, you know, joining us today. We have the man himself, Extreme. His number is out there, people. He do different services and stuff, as um, mm -hmm. as he has mentioned. I understand mm -hmm. weddings, funerals, and everything banquets. like that, banquets as well. I understand. So, bless up people. No love, Prince Nick, Extreme. Peace out. Peace out.